Having faith in the guidance of the celestial powers above, we can align or realign ourselves confidently below here on the earth. There is a divine purpose of the interconnectedness that we have with everyone and everything. Yet we need to navigate our own individual paths to achieve our happiness, abundance, and contentment in life. The outer planets are like our gurus or counselors who enlighten our paths. With the knowledge in hand, we can carve our own routes towards our individual goals. Now, with the main planets like Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto gone direct, we have gained enough clarity of thoughts and they gently woke us up to a new energy. With Uranus going direct on January 18th, 2022 in sensual Taurus, it makes us realize the importance of self-care. We are bound to feel that spring in our life that, or a spring in our step that awakens us to new possibilities. Uranus is here to teach us to detach in certain ways, for we need to adopt new attitudes and uproot ourselves from negative aspects that drained us previously. Thus, the altering moments of life will push us to do better and put us on the right path. As the life progresses, we must adapt to changing circumstances, alter our attitudes, beliefs, and actions. Life is a process and our beliefs need to change in accordance to our awakenings. Rigidity and stubbornness needs to melt away, giving way to freshness in our life. Neptune starts its direct motion on 1st December 2021. This actually removes the veil from our eyes and we truly connect with our feelings, our core strength of the heart. So on an inner level, there is a great deal of psychological and spiritual transformation. The level of self-confidence increases with these outer planets. I have endeavored to guide and prescribe for each zodiac as to how they could handle their lives in the coming year of 2022, starting their preparation from the month of December onwards. In one line, start the year 2022 afresh by learning the art of letting go and moving on with experience. Herald the year 2022 with bold decisions. Be independent of thought, word, and action. Charity begins at home, so responsibility towards your own happiness is of paramount importance. Create the life you want for yourself and experience how your world adapts to you. Be the master of your own life. 2022 for Aries. The major trends are that the situation started clearing out for you from the last two years and they continue to get better and better as the new year progresses. Rest assured, if you have been taking a regulated diet and were disciplined in your exercise, you will experience a surge of good energy. Jupiter, the planet of expansion, entered your sign on May 11th. And as you all know, it's an harbinger of happiness. Things and situation follow your own heart and soul. They are an imprint of your thoughts and visualization. It remains in Aries till October 29th then starts its retrograde towards Pisces, settling there till 21st December. It starts its forward motion back into Aries after December 21st, 2022, and it positions itself there. Note down these dates in your diary so that you are aware when to execute your thoughts and when to make your plans. This will make it easy for you, Aries, as I would say, January to May 2022, visualize and make foundations for your personal or professional projects, what you want to do, and how to manifest your thoughts. From May to October, initiate your projects and go ahead full throttle in your manifestations. October onwards, it's important to review your projects and relationships and realize what are the amendments needed. After December 21st, you can work with a renewed fervor and determination. This year, your focus should be mainly on your 12th and 1st house, which means 
how you want to present yourself to the world or how do you want yourself to be seen by the world. 12th house, which is actually the deepest, darkest, more sensitive part of your chart. Address your fears, your spirituality, transformation, deal with your innermost secrets and hidden enemies. The first house is, of course, like I said, all about your personal transformation, appearance and image, self-identity and the impact that you have on others. So when Jupiter is direct, work on your first house and when it's retrograde, focus on your 12th house. Jupiter's move into your sign will bring personal pleasure, fun, good fortune, foreign travel and overall happiness and success. For women, it's a fertile and productive year. Jupiter implies education. Belief system is encouraged through education. So it's a good year for those who are in the process of expanding their intelligence or are involved with educational institutions. Those involved in any kind of legal process will have a productive, successful year. Mars, the ruler of your horoscope, will spend an unusual amount of time in your third house of communication and intellectual interests. He'll be there for more than four months from August 20th onwards. This improves your concentration and focus, which is bound to bring in success. When you focus on career or your business, finances naturally see and the upliftment is experienced. Pluto has been in your 10th house of career for many, many years now. He'll be there this year, but is getting ready to move on. Since it's a slow moving planet, it will finally make a move only in 2023. Till then, keep a calm and patient approach towards those who are in authority or elder to you. Your elders may be undergoing a personal crisis which changes the dynamics of life. Since Pluto has been commanding your 10th house, it affects your career path, which has slowly but steadily been transforming. Very shortly, you would witness your dreams turning into reality. Neptune has been in your 12th house for many years, so you would have been under very strong spiritual influences. This year, when Jupiter retrogrades and co-joins in your 12th house, you make your personal transformations through inner awakenings. You will experience happy opportune breakthroughs in your personal as well as professional life. Keep your interests in personal transformation from May 11th to October 29th and work on your finances, communications and intellectual interests from August 20th onwards. Attention towards your career, friends, groups and group activities are practically the whole year through, especially from January 1st to May 11th and from October 29th to December 21st. You will benefit from and find your greatest fulfillment through your earnings from January 19th onwards. So health and energy have been getting better and better over the years. This year, there is only one long-term planet, that is Pluto, which is in a slight stressful alignment with you. All the other long-term planets are either in harmonious aspect with you or leaving you alone. So health and energy will be good this year. If your pre-existing conditions, they seem in abeyance, these and are not as severe as they usually are. Be prepared for some transitory stressful moments in health. A good diet and physical exercise will help you regain your energies. Your empty sixth house of health and work is also a very positive health signal. You have no need to be overly focused here. As the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. Finance and career is more prominent this year. Uranus in your money house has bought in the need to experiment and in be innovative, use innovative various methods to increase your financial inflow. So do not hesitate to listen to your heart, get connected to your soul, the voice of your soul and dare to dream. Throw out the rule books of the do's and don'ts, learn through your own trial, error and experimentation. That is what will work for you. Things that work for others might not work for you. Things that you are told to avoid could benefit you. 
Not all experiments may seem successful, but at least you will learn what to avoid and that does build in inner confidence. Self-learning is the best way to develop personalities. Uranus is the generic ruler of the 11th house of friends, technology, science. These are all prospective fields for jobs, businesses and investments. Online world will bring in financial opportunities abundantly. Brush up your technological expertise, investing and spending money, or learning new techniques. This will help you also earn through them. Utilize the Jupiter influence and exercise the feeling of optimism and develop a can-do spirit. Technology is important in your finances and seems just as important in your career. Your technological expertise will boost your career. The year ahead is a me time period. It's all about your personal and physical transformation. Finance, career and your spiritual life will seem much more important to you than social life. Venus is your love planet. And this year she moves through your 10th house twice. So you could experience short term trends in love. During the retrograde periods of Venus, you may experience some kind of complications. As if relationships seem to go backwards instead of forwards. The social grace and judgment may not be up to the usual standard. So it would not be a good idea to make important love or financial decisions during the retrogrades. Just experience, be patient and observe. Romance may not be the big deal this year. Friendships and networking will fill the gaps. The year ahead is very spiritual. Not only is Neptune in your spiritual 12th house, but it also accompanies Jupiter between October 29th to December 21st. It will show you the way of transcending the material world and see things from a higher perspective. This mere ability to rise above things is often the solution to many problems. Things that seem an insurmountable while you are on the ground are seen as no issues when viewed from above. The clutter in your life that has you worried or stymied is nothing but a mere blip. It clears up very shortly. You probably would learn from a different, higher perspective. The understanding of spiritual laws will help you how to apply them in your daily life. Neptune is above all religion. Where is Jupiter is religious. Every true religion is based on spiritual laws and they attempt to, quote, defy them. In the behavior of their followers. So in the year ahead, you are going to get a deeper insight into yourself and your beliefs. If they need a change and you want to transform into something different, it will be easier for you to blend. Neptune will help you become more introspective and you will be able to understand your truth. And Jupiter will help you understand the spiritual and mystical origins of your own life. Last but not the least, your dream life will be hyperactive and very revelatory. Maintain a dream journal. This will help you understand and the inner voice will guide you towards your soul's purpose. Your spiritual faculties, your ESP, intuition and psychic abilities will be much stronger than you've ever experienced before. So pay heed to your intuition and that inner voice. This is an year of supernatural types of experiences, synchronicities, precognition, miraculous types of protection and the like. The spiritual world is very active on your behalf and letting you know that it exists. So 2022 for you is an year of abundance, prosperity, happiness, and believing in the higher energies that work in your favor forever. Listen to your inner voice. It is actually the truth. Stay blessed and have a great year ahead.